So big companies release products all the time, and whether it be a smartphone, a laptop, or just some kind of silverware, you need to show what that product looks like. And sometimes it can be really hard to visualize what the products will look like. And even after they're made, it might be hard to show them off in a way that looks pleasing and makes the customer want to buy them. And that is where product rendering comes in. It really is a game changer, letting companies show off their products in ways that normally wouldn't be possible. And that's why pretty much every single example of product ads or visualizations that you see today uses at least one example of 3D animation. And you might not even notice. That's why today I'm going to be talking about product rendering and why it might not be exactly what you think. If you don't understand what product rendering or just rendering in general is, then that's right. Here are the basics. So just like filming something in real life, you start off with the subject. In this case, it would be a model of an iPhone. Then you bring in a light so everything can actually be seen by the viewer. And then last, you film everything with a camera. And 3D rendering is pretty much the same exact thing, except all of these components are recreated digitally inside of a computer. So yes, the basics are simple. You just let the computer calculate how the light bounces from its source to the object and then to the camera. But that's easier said than done. While making product renders, there's a bunch of issues that can get in your way. Like bad typology, meaning the mesh isn't shaped correctly, which can introduce lighting artifacts and other errors in the model. Every time the calculation of the light to the object to the camera happens, it's called a sample. And in order to make your concepts realistic, you need to render them at a high sample rate. So depending on the complexity of your shot and the speed of your CPU or GPU, renders can take a very, very long time. And apart from all the errors that get in the way, it's also just a generally hard skill to get good at. And other than just the ways I mentioned, there's a ton of other places in that process where you can go completely wrong. In order to find out more about product rendering and how to make it look great, I talked to Zell Designs. They make mind-blowing tech concepts, mainly of Apple products, on the YouTube channel Zellzoid. All right, howdy Zell, how are you doing? Good. So I just wanna ask you a few questions about the concept renders you do, cause I know you do a bunch of them on the YouTube channel and they look very good. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I know the renders are tricky to make, but how long do they take on average? Like two weeks to a month. Which of your renders have taken the longest? Probably the iOS 18 one. That one has like a UI concept in it as well, right? Yeah. In the entire concept rendering process, what part of that is the, the toughest part? Rendering. Like I'd render all of them by myself and it took very long. When I switched to cycles, it got even worse. For that MacBook 12 inch concept, those animations took like 20 hours. Zell said that some of his product animations took over 20 hours to render. This is another struggle of product renders. If you don't have a super beefy computer, then large render times can suddenly become a massive problem. There are usually two ways to get around this. First of all, artists work on lowering their vertex counts, which basically means that they try not to make their model more complex than it needs to be. That way your computer doesn't need to calculate unneeded light paths. Another common practice is to use a render farm, where once you complete your animation, you hand it off to another company to render it for you. And those are the basics. That's how product renders are made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like or maybe even subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, then you'll probably like this one. All right, toodles.